Hello everyone, I wanted to share this story with you. On October 12, 2019, the Hard Rock Hotel that was under construction in New Orleans collapsed, killing three men. The victims were identified as 63-year-old Jose Ponce Ariola, 49-year-old Anthony Magret, and 36-year-old Quinion Wimberly. The body of Magret was removed from the building shortly after the collapse, but unbelievably, the bodies of the other two men still remain in the building. And here we are, a little over five months since the collapse in March of 2020. I was actually really shocked when I saw the story on the news back in January that the bodies of these two men were still trapped within this collapsed building as if it had become their tomb. But the reason it was in the news is that the partial remains of one of the men was covered with a red tarp by the city of New Orleans because they have not been able to retrieve these two men's bodies. And apparently, high winds had blown down the red tarp and the dangling legs of one of the men could be seen by passers-by. And people were just stopping to take photographs. And it ended up getting all over social media. These horrific photographs, and I'm not going to show them here. Um, you know, people just stopping to take photos of these legs dangling off the building. So apparently a couple of days later, they were able to put up a new tarp and the men still remain trapped. Now back then in January, um, the city officials had indicated that they would be doing a demolition, demolition of the building in mid-March. Well, that has later changed to sometime in April. Well, with what's going on now in the world, who knows when this thing might get demolished. They had planned on doing a controlled demolition and then sending in a search and rescue team to retrieve the remains. I mean, people were really outraged because at the time the man's remains became visible with the tarp blowing off. The city was preparing for Mardi Gras celebrations and the this is right on the edge of the French Quarter, and apparently the parade was right on the route of this building. It's like, okay, Mardi Gras goers, never mind the, the corpse behind the curtain there. You know, you're planning this huge celebration where, you know, approximately a million people come every year and celebrate while you have two men trapped in a building. I mean, of course their families are outraged, and other citizens were outraged as well. There's been a couple of um, demonstrations at the steps of the city hall, you know, to get answers. The families want answers, like, when is this going to be taken care of? And there's been a lot of other um, goings-on, like corruption and um, all kinds of things. I found an article... And this article is from Fox News 8. They indicate that a worker describes warning signs ahead of the collapse and called the job rushed. He said that they were rushing to get the hotel open in time for Mardi Gras 2020, which would have been in February. Now, Fox News 8 says they were there two days before the collapse. They were doing a story um, on workers preparing to lift a rooftop pool with a crane and install it on the roof of the building. And that they were told that the building was due to be open in May 2020. But since the collapse, this worker that is talking to Fox News 8 said that uh, they were actually trying to get it ready earlier in time for Mardi Gras. He says he started taking days off because he felt unsafe going to work. Now there's video of the actual collapse and I will put a link to that in the description. So there's also a second video that was filmed from inside the building. 
It was taken two days prior to the collapse, and I'll put a link to that in the description box as well. In the video, the worker can be heard speaking in Spanish, and he's ridiculing what he describes as shoddy design and construction. He's speaking sarcastically and saying, look at this, the best engineering in the world. And he talks about the large stretches between the support beams and how they're already to the point of breaking. He points to a jack on the 16th floor and said they couldn't take the jack out because the concrete above it was sagging. And he says, look how it's bent already. He says they couldn't remove it because it was too bent and had too much pressure on it. He says there's large spaces without beams. And then he says, this is seriously bad, Papa. The builders of the Hard Rock Hotel removed temporary support posts just three days after pouring heavy concrete in the building's top floors. Now this was according to an interview with one of the steel workers. The top floors of the building collapsed the morning of October the 12th, just eight days after that concrete was poured. The latest information I could find was an article from March 17th, 2020 that says, Inspector accused of false report on collapsed Hard Rock Hotel resigns. The inspector had been suspended for allegedly falsifying inspection reports before the collapse in October. He is one of two inspectors accused of signing off on the 14th floor concrete section, but his GPS in his vehicle shows that he was nowhere near the site at the time. A second inspector faces disciplinary charges, and another pleaded guilty in the fall of 2019 for accepting $65,000 in bribes in exchange for not reporting building violations and signing false inspection reports. So it seems like there's a big problem going on in New Orleans with the building inspectors. So there's going to, who knows what's going to happen with that. So hopefully these men are removed from this building sometime soon. I can't imagine what their families are going through. If you made it here to the end, thanks so much for watching. This is one of my interest, um, failure analysis or what they call forensic engineering. I love to see how these things happen and what caused them. I really hope that the city of New Orleans gets this taken care of soon so that the family members can have the remains of their loved ones back. My heart goes out to the family members of those who lost their lives in this building collapse.